come back with me in the Wayback Machine for just a minute. Think back all the way to 90, 1995 and this new operating system called Windows 95. Now think about its control panel. There was this icon and control panel that you would click when you wanted to, to get rid of an application in Windows 95. What was that icon called? Think. Think. It was called Add Remove Programs, right? Well, now think a little bit further. When was the last time in any of those operating systems that you used Add Remove Programs to, I don't know, add an application? Hmm? Interesting. So. Microsoft has tried to include self-service in the Windows operating system since almost its earliest days. Well, maybe the world wasn't ready for it. But now with Config Manager 2012, and now with the world as it exists these days, self-service is something you can actually accomplish. Uh, that happens with Config Manager's application catalog. With it, you can, your users can request, approve, and just automatically install the apps that they require. Really awesome stuff. Uh, I put together a series, in fact, on this and other bits of Configuration Manager 2012 for CBT Nuggets. And in this micro nugget, I'm going to show you that self-service and tickle you because this is something you absolutely want to implement. If you haven't figured it out, I'm, uh, well, I'm wasting time. You know, I, I mentioned SMS stands for slow moving software and sometimes, well, it just takes a while for that uh, user policy and computer policy to come down to update uh, even Software Center, even in the 2012 days. So, okay, so uh, enough time has now been wasted. You can tell that actually we've gotten the new policy because the uh, software center label here now says CBT Nuggets instead of um, information technology or IT department or whatever it said before. We also know this because the find additional application from the app catalog link now works. So there's no applications here. Again, software center is about, it's there for the software that you've already approved. It's there for the software that's already on the system. It kind of deals with the stuff that's already there. If you want new stuff, you have to go to the application catalog. Now, I'm going to log in here with my username and password. Notice that, that it actually specifically requests that username and password. And you can see that the application catalog, even though it's inside of Internet Explorer, kind of looks the same as what Software Center looked like. This is a Silverlight application. So if you're familiar with what Silverlight apps look like, well, this is, this is one of them. You'll see here I have WinZip packaged. Um, a version, some of this information isn't actually included in here. And that that version actually requires approval. If I click down here on more details, and had I actually had populated this with more details, you would see some of these additional details associated with the application. This alerts the user that this WinZip instance is actually ready to go. In fact, you might actually, when you are deploying applications, want to make sure that you do a reasonably good job of helping people recognize, well, what the applications are and why they exist. If you recall, back when we were working with the properties of this application, I skipped over the application catalog tab here because, well, I, this is where you would actually go about entering in different categories for the user or populating a documentation file with information about how to use the application or some link text that would help people understand what that, you know, what that application is, even some keywords or some icons down here at the bottom. So this is useful because this information here for the application ends up populating what the user would see here. So I've got a user. Right? The users decided, you know what, I need to zip up something today, and so consequently what I need to do is actually request that application. When I click this link, it's going to create this request for approval. Well, why do I need the app? Well, I need the app just, uh, I need the app just because. Good enough, <laughs> good enough reason as any, right? And then I can submit that request. So this process in, essentially adds an interrupt into the, pro, into the whole workflow so that someone somewhere can say, yay, verily, this person is approved for using this application. The user here is going to show that their request has been submitted, and if they take a look at my application requests, well, they can see the latest status associated with those or with that request. Now, you as the administrator are going to see those requests show up over here in your Config Manager console as, a approval, as a, an approval request. When they come in, you'll have the option to either approve or deny them. You know, Phil needs to, Phil needs to zip today, so you know what? Let's go ahead and approve this request. You are approved. Uh, you know, have fun with zip. 
All right, choose OK. And now we've completed that interrupt in the process. So the users kind of have to be aware that you may have a step in this process if you're going to go through this administrator approval. Let me go ahead and review these application requests again. I refresh, and let's see. Oh, look, WinZip package has been approved. And oh, have fun with it. Yay, I can now make use of this application. So with this request in mind, I can now click to view the software details back here in the application catalog and choose to install the application. It asks me if I want to install the selected application. I choose yes. It goes through all the process of preparing the installation, evaluating the requirements, going through putting the icons in the right place. And then down here at the bottom, you can notice that we are going about the installation of this piece of software. Want to learn more? Check out cptnuggets.com.